Hi everyone, it's Ruby and Rayleigh and welcome back to our channel. Today in this video we are going to be showing you 12 quick and easy aesthetic hairstyles that you can wear to school or every day. We've both had lots of requests to film another hairstyles video and I don't really do much to my hair but Rayleigh does. So we thought we'd do it today and show you some hairstyles that I always do in my hair for our videos. Before we get started, we just want to make sure you're all okay and staying safe. For us, the UK has just gone into lockdown again for a month. But we can still go to school, so it is a bit different. Yeah. Also, we just want to thank all of you for supporting us and for subscribing to us. But if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. And make sure to turn the notification bell on if you want to be notified for every time we upload. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started and do hairstyle number one. So, the first hairstyles we're going to show you are aesthetic headband hairstyles. And the first one we're going to do in this section involves these stretch headbands. I bought them from Amazon a while ago. There was a pack. And these are good because they don't slip much and there are loads of colours. The link will be in the description. Okay, this is probably my most worn hairstyle in our videos. Anyway, pick I'm a colour. right now, I think. Yeah, I yeah. am. Pick a colour. Okay. So, how you do this hairstyle is you really only need a headband, but you might benefit from having a brush and a comb as well. But the one thing that I'd say to do when you do this hairstyle is take pieces out of the front of your hair to frame your face. You can take small pieces, if you've got a fringe, you can take your fringe out, you can take big pieces, and you can take whole chunks of hair. For me, I like to take pieces across the whole like front side of my head. As you can see, loads of hair. Then, you take the headband. I really like these ones because the material makes them not like slip down your head. Much. They feel like those things you put on your legs in like the 80s or something. When yeah, you... they're very comfortable. Then, you take the hair thing, and you put this over your head and you just put the headband on. You might want to add more hair at the front, you might want to take hair out. There are loads of ways you can do this and there isn't really a wrong way. So this is the first headband hairstyle. It's really, really easy. I wear it all the time, you probably noticed. I find it it's really fun. You can put more hair back if you want and you can definitely get your hair at your face with it if you need to. Ruby hasn't seen it on herself yet. Ooh, oh yeah. Wait, that's really cool. Yay! <gasps> I look like you! <laughs> <laughs> this hairstyle is particularly good because you can buy so many different colours with these hairbands. These were all from one pack and there were more and it was very cheap. So you could do loads of different colours. Like this! Okay, hairstyle number two. This is the same kind of thing except you won't be using a headband, we'll be using a scarf. This is my scarf, it's very big. What is it? Oh, I got it. That's just the style. <laughs> I can't remember where I got this from. You could cut it in half and it would be really good. But you want to fold it a few times on the long side so you have kind of a thinner section. Now I'm going to take this out your hair. I've tied the rest of Ruby's hair with the headband and I've left the same front pieces. Like the other hairstyle, you can choose what you want to keep at the front. And then you take your scarf and you just tie the back. Now I'll take the rest of the hair out. This one's quite cute, it's very holiday -y. If you have a smaller scarf, it might work a bit differently. And if you have a bigger scarf, it might work a bit differently. But this actually looks really, really cute. You ready to look? Yeah. Ooh! Wait, no, that looks really cool. It does. It looks like the sort of thing you wear to like a festival. Yeah, it does. Kind like of Coachella. Coachella. Different type of thing. <laughs> right now, there are a lot of autumn scarves out. There are loads of bandanas out that you can buy. And you can really have fun with this hairstyle and you can really style it. This next hairstyle is really similar, except I'm going to teach you how to curl your hair in a wavy way. There are loads of ways you can make your hair look wavy, there are loads of ways you can make your hair straight, and you can make it curly. I tend to keep my hair damp in a bun at night yeah. and it's curly. You can use socks overnight, but if you want to use heat, I use hair straighteners, which is kind of funny because it's doing the opposite of what they're designed to do. I don't know how to do this actually, I've tried to, but it just goes a bit weird. So, I always do this in layers. If your hair's thick, I would recommend definitely doing it in layers because it'll make it easier. Take your first bit of hair and split it into strands you can kind of hold really 
easy. <laughs> make sure your hair's nice and soft, so make sure you've brushed it. I'm gonna go through this slowly a few times and then I'm just gonna do Ruby's whole hair. So take your hair straighteners and put them on your hair. Now you wanna take your hair straighteners and curl them towards your head. Move it a bit. Now swap and do it exactly the other way around. So you're going like this. By doing this, you create wave curls as opposed to ringlet curls. And this is a hairstyle I think you can buy hair tools for, but I don't have any, so I use a straightener. You can do these tighter with less hair, you can do them looser. I'm gonna do the rest of Ruby's hair. I'm done now, this is what it looks like. You can do this in loads of different ways. You can have the curls tighter or more wavy. I'd recommend experimenting with it. I've actually just done the front for the purpose of the video, but obviously you do the whole head of hair if you were gonna wear this out. I'm gonna put a headband in now. I always put loads of effort into the front pieces of my hair. So that's a big thing. If you're gonna curl your hair, make sure the front looks good because that's where your face is. This is hairstyle number three. It's the one I've actually got right now. Why? Oh, I like it curly more. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so do I. <gasps> yeah, oh well, you did really well. Thank you. I cute. do this one so much before school because it doesn't take long at all. I love how it looks. I really like this next hairstyle, it's a lot more sleek looking and the headbands we're gonna use clash less with outfits. So, we're gonna start by straightening Ruby's hair. These hair straighteners are GHD hair straighteners. I got them for Christmas and they're really good. If you've got really thick hair, then I would recommend putting it in a ponytail in some areas while you do others, because it will make it less overwhelming. I've just straightened Ruby's hair now. It didn't take very long. And now we're gonna put the headbands in and this one's gonna be a bit more slick back. You might wanna brush your hair back and then I think I'm done. This is the hairstyle. You can do it in a few different ways. You can make your hair parting like that or completely over. And it looks good either way. Oh, oh, that's cool. Yay. Wait, I like it. It's very cool. I don't know if it suits me, but it is a cool hairstyle. I feel like it would look good on you. Thank you. I've worn it a few times in videos. Now we're gonna go on to the second type of hairstyles. And these are cute ponytails and plaits. Okay, so this next hairstyle is with ponytails. You may be able to predict what I'm about to do. I'm going to take a piece out the front. Now what I'm going to do is take a lot of the front of Ruby's hair. It's kind of in a triangle shape. I'm going to make it nice and smooth and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it in a ponytail as if I was going to do pigtails in Ruby's hair. There we go. Other side. This is what it looks like. So I finished now. You can obviously use different colour hairbands. I've worn this one so many times. I know, I remember. This hairstyle is really, really durable. It lasts the entire day, and you can do it so the ponytails are more out or more further back. You ready? Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, I like that. Like it? Yeah, I like Yay. it. Yay! I think that's really cool. Yay! So, the next hairstyle is one of my favorites, actually. I haven't worn it in a while, though, but it involves plaitings. What we're gonna do is take about the same size sections as the hairstyle I just used, maybe half the size, actually, and you're just gonna plait the hair down. I'm not going to go all the way down because I feel like it looks quite cool if it stops around your chin. So I've finished it now and it looks really really good. I really love this one. Ready? Three, two, one. <gasps> wow, that's cool. Yay. And you could do different colour hair bands. Yeah, wow. Wait, I like that. You do? Mm-hmm. Hope to see you wear it in a video. I like all of them. <laughs> anyway, the next one also involves plaits, and this is two big puffy plaits. This one looks really, really good in the winter, especially when you want your hair out of your face. It does look very good under beanies. You're gonna need a middle parting for this one if you want it to look more even. Again, we're gonna take a little piece out of the front. This is optional. And now what we're gonna do is you're gonna take all of your hair behind your ear and just plait it. I'm done. You finished already? Kind of. So, 
The next thing we're going to do to make the plait really big is something called feathering it. And what you're going to do for this is you're going to take the outside kind of bits of hair of the plait and just pull them. So it looks very pretty and I think Ruby likes it like that. So this is what I mean, this is what it looks like. Okay, other side. This is the final plaits. They are really, really cute. You can do them as Dutch plaits or normal ones and you can use loads of hair at the bottom if you want. Hat time. Oh, that's so cute. <gasps> Oh, that's really cute. Yay! I really like this one. I really like this one. I haven't put my hair in patch since, since I cut it short. So. Yeah. They're really cute. Or you can do the pink hat. Whoa! Okay, the next hairstyle you will need a hairbrush, you'll need a hairband, and you can also use a scarf or a cool <gasps> hairband. I love these. This is going to be cute. So, this is a half up, half down one. You're going to want to take some hair out of the front. Face that way. Got it. Thank you. You're going to want to take hair up from just on top of your ear. Okay. There's loads of different accessories you can add to this one. You can actually flip the ponytail back on itself as well. I really like this accessory. It's very pretty. There we go. You'll like this one. It's quite cute. Ooh. I normally do my things all the way up here. Yeah. <gasps> Why? Wait. It's really cute. <gasps> oh. This one's really I cute. love this one. The side profile of this hairstyle is really, really pretty. The last hairstyles we're going to show you are simple and cute hair clip hairstyles. These ones are going to use these crocodile clips, I think they're called, or butterfly clips. Bet you can guess what the first step is. Yeah. This is really, really easy. Grab your clip. Take it from just, I'd say, above your eyebrow, maybe a bit higher. This is what this one looks like. It's really, really cute. If you have smaller clips, they'll show a bit less, but it does frame your face quite nice. <gasps> oh, this is definitely my favorite. Really? Yeah, I like it's how really it goes cute. out because my hair always, always is quite flat. Hmm. So I like how it goes out. You can also do this hairstyle using barrettes. I got a massive pack of them from Amazon. There's like four of each color in here. For this one, you take a piece of hair, and you pick it up, you pull it back, and you take the clip and then you clip it down, like that. I've just finished Ruby's hair, it looks really, really good. The pink looks really good with your hair. And this hairstyle is really easy to do, as long as you get it symmetrical. <gasps> oh, that's really cute. Oh, I love the pink, it's really cute. Color. Yeah, the pink looks really good with your hair. <gasps> I like it a lot. Yay. <laughs> this one's very simple. We're gonna take two front pieces out of your hair. I've taken out pieces from the front, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these pieces of hair and pull them back. I'm doing it on this side. So you're gonna wanna take one bobby pin and just put it in. And you're gonna wanna take the second one, put it above the first bobby pin and cross it over. I'm gonna show you on the other side. So I've put one in, I'm taking the one on top, and I'm putting it over, like that. That's this hairstyle. Again, like all the other ones, you can take the face framing pieces out if you don't want any hair on your face. Three, two, one. <gasps> oh, I like this one. Yay! I really like this one, yeah. Okay, I think these look really cool crossed as well. Yeah, it actually looks quite nice with the cross. Hopefully you'll start seeing Ruby do some more fun hairstyles in our videos from now on because now you know how to do them. This hairstyle can use barrette clips or butterfly clips like the other one. We're going to be using barrette clips because on Ruby's hair they hold it bare in place. Is you're going to need to take a piece of hair and you're just going to start twisting it. So you're going to want to twist the pieces and like your French plaiting, just keep adding like that until you get probably in line with the person's ear. Then you'll take a clip or a hairband or some way of securing your hair and you just put it in place. There you go. This hairstyle really, really, it doesn't take any longer than four minutes. It's really, really easy, really, really quick. You ready? Yeah. Okay, we can do it now. <gasps> Ooh, oh wait, no. This one's my favorite. It is? Yeah, I love really? this one. Wait, yeah, because it has like volume, at, volume? Like, volume at the volume top. Volume at the top. Yeah. If this was curled as well, it would be really Yeah, cool. this would look good on curly hair. All of these would look good curly and straight hair. So that's the second to last hairstyle. This last hairstyle is one Ruby does so, so much. So Ruby, take it away. So I'm just gonna start by brushing my hair back and then I'm gonna take my hair ball and I'm gonna do like a loose 
low ponytail at the back of my head. So now I've put it in a low ponytail, I'm going to take my wispy bits and all my front bits and just take a few out mm -hmm. so it looks looser and yeah. like natural I guess. Yeah. I'm just going to put my clip in on one side of my head. Like that. Cute. And that's the hair still done. So this is the finished hair wow. and I love how it looks. It looks very natural. It looks really good on you. So that's the end of our video, we really hope you've enjoyed and we hope we've given you some ideas on some quick and easy aesthetic hairstyles. I definitely learnt a lot more hairstyles to do and you'll probably see them in upcoming videos. Yay! Make sure to head over to the community page and comment which hairstyle was your favourite. We have two shout outs for this video, shout out number one goes to Drawing Star. Thank you so so much for commenting on the community page and being really really positive, we really appreciate it. The second shout out goes to Freya Akua. Thank you so, so much for subscribing us and for supporting us. We cannot end this video without thanking our notification squad ends. Early school, we love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. We really hope you've enjoyed. Stay safe. We love you. Bye. Aesthetic. 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 Nope. Turn on the notification bell if you want to be uploaded. Uploaded. Huh? Who's that? No, not Mickey Mouse. Um, yeah. Ow. Sorry. I just scratched my head. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> nope. Not like that. Hang on. <laughs> it looks very thick. <laughs> 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 <laughs>